Hey to you. Welcome back. Today we're starting a new series where I show you how I animate in Clip Studio Paint. This new series will contain a maximum of 10 minute long videos that'll just walk you through how I animate usually in Clip Studio Paint. This is completely for beginners. I'm not gonna go into super, super detailed information. This is just to get you started animating immediately. If you're looking for something that's a little bit more detail, I would suggest you go over to Wyatt Munga, where he goes into detail in a one hour long video. And he also has timestamps. So if that's something that's better for you, you wanna to go to one video for everything, I suggest to go there. He's been a great inspiration for me, even getting into drawing and into animation. If you do stop up over there and you notice that that video is pretty new, well, I guess great minds think alike because the moment I got this idea, he dropped this one hour video and I was like, Nevertheless, let's get straight into the first video. Okay, first thing first, I have Clip Studio Paint EX, but if you have Pro, the things that we're doing today should just work just fine with your program. If it does not, please comment below and then I'll make a correction, but I'm pretty sure that everything works. It's just, I think, a limit on how many layers you can make if I'm, I think, I think that's right. So the first thing I wanna do is open up a new file. Now, right here, I reset the way the layout is set up so that mine matches yours. And we're gonna come over to file, new, and a window should pop up. Now on this window, I have a template already. And this is set up for basic HD 1080p stuff. So that's 1920 by width, 1080 by height, and then the resolution is 300. Now it's set to that because that works on most HD platforms. It's a 2D animation, so we're not worried too much about it being pixelated, but just in case for a little bit of room, I put a 300 resolution. Most people put two. The frame rate is 12, um, and that's because of the standard in the US is 24 frames per second, but I think in other states, I mean, other countries, it's 30 frames per second, so you can change that to 15, but this is actually about what I'm doing. So I usually do 12. So you press OK, and here it'll open up. Okay, when it comes to this layout, now that we got this new file open for animation, this is not my normal layout. So it's a little bit awkward for me, but we're gonna get you started still. So the first thing I wanna do, since I don't see the timeline, is go into Windows and then Timeline. Now the timeline is up. So now we can go to kind of putting something together where you can understand where this program can take you. So now that we got the timeline, I'm gonna come over here to this top gray area and just move this to the other side. And that's just so I can get some separation and understand what I'm picking at. But the first thing we're gonna do is open the layers. And this is the part of the layers that we're gonna be working with. Now it's already created an animation folder, but I wanna talk to you about layers first before we do animation folder. So let's create a new layer. And you can name it whatever, I'll name it two for now, since we already have one. But the layer is each animation that you draw. So I'll come in with, uh, let's see, with this pin, and I'll just stroke out a box, right? And a little quick body on him and some arms. Give him some arms, right? Oh, I guess I'll give him some legs too. Doesn't deserve him, I guess, but I'll give it to him. So now he got some box, I mean, got, got the box body going. And so what I'm gonna do is take this, I'm gonna rename it actually. I'm gonna rename this to one this layer that we just drew on. I'm gonna delete the layer that they pre-created already. And what I'm gonna do is just copy this. And I'll do that by duplicating the layer. That's right click and duplicate, and it names it one copy. And I'll just rename that to two. Now take these two and put them inside of this animation folder. 
And these animation folder, I mean, this animation folder is made up of these two layers, one and two. So when you go in and zoom in deep, you can see that if you right click on this cell, this is, it brings up the list of layers within this animation folder. And that's what I just wanna to explain to you, that these layers make up your animation. So each drawing is that layer. So let's say I take, I got one already here, and I'll take two, I'll go out three frames. I mean, two frames, that's to frame three. And let's make a quick chain. And to guide us on our change, we're gonna come down to this right here. Now this doesn't look like an onion, but this box with a dot box behind it is the onion skin. If you turn that on, you can see the previous frame and the next frame. And you can change those settings, but we'll get into that later. So I'm gonna make a quick adjustment to this character's arms. There we go. And what is he doing? He's just flapping his, he just flap his arms up and down, I guess. So I'll scroll down and make this timeline a little bit shorter. Let me zoom out and get to the end of it. And just play it back. And that's how easy it is to just get started animating in Clip Studio Paint. But before I go and we move on to the next video, I wanna show you guys how to create an animation folder. And the next video will be how to adjust your layout. So the first thing we wanna do, I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna come up to where it says animate. And then when you click on animate, you'll see new animation layer. From that arrow, it, it'll drop out and it goes to animation folder, 2D camera folder, and audio. Click on animation folder. And you'll see that it says folder one, and it has like a ratio and zero. Now you can change the name of this folder, but the ratio part is gonna stay there. So I'll put name this animation, but it's counting how many layers is inside of the animation folder. So if I come down here, take these two layers and put them inside here. Now they're in here, but you don't see it because you have to assign the folders to what cell you want them. So that's it. It's that easy. You can literally open up clip and go straight in, draw two layers, anything simple, just boxes, a basketball, whatever, and throw them inside of an animation folder and you've created an animation. Now, like I said, we'll go into the next video, probably make it a little bit more easier to animate, a little bit more comfortable by changing the layout to how I usually do. But for now, get in there and animate something. If you just gotta get in there and animate something today, just need two layers. You can do even more if you got the time. Don't forget, send me your first animation if you come up with something after watching one of these videos. The information needed to send me those animations is listed in the description below, along with the time. But as always, until next time, anime life forever. I'm telling my mom.